Hey friends, thanks so much for tuning into my video. Today is Worth Wednesday, and today we're going to talk about the importance of affirmation. Um, affirmation is oftentimes confused with validation, but they're not the same thing. Affirmation is emotional support and encouragement. And oftentimes that support and encouragement comes in the form of someone agreeing with or attesting to something that is already there. And when we're talking about personal worth, one of the things that's connected to personal worth and our idea of our personal worth is affirmation. Um, think about it. Who is someone in your life that has affirmed that you're important, that you matter, that your ideas can make a difference, that what you have to say should be heard? Who is someone who has affirmed you in that way, who has provided that space for you to know, okay, I know this is true about myself, but you agree with me. It makes a difference. It really does make a difference. Sometimes I think over time, maybe we take those times of affirmation for granted. And I say that because sometimes we are not intentional about affirming the people around us. And again, like I said in my last video, anything that I share with you guys I'm talking to me too. Um, I try to be intentional about affirming others. In some ways, I feel like it comes to me naturally because one of my gifts is exhortation. So I'm an encourager already. Um, it's, it's real. If I say something to you that I see that you've done, like I mean it. It just flows out of me pretty naturally for the most part. Maybe for someone else, that's not your gift. Um, it's just not natural for you. <laughs> and maybe you have to think a little bit harder about it. And that's okay. We all have different, um, we all have different gifts, different strengths, different ways that we are a blessing to the people around us. I know how, I know how much being affirmed myself by other people that I respected has impacted my life. Now, I don't want us to confuse affirmation with flattery. And I don't mean just compliments on compliments because you're trying to make someone feel better about themselves. But let us not hold back from affirming others, especially as leaders. I believe that most people who watch my videos are leaders, already consider themselves leaders, or maybe there are people who have that thought, you know, I'm supposed to make a difference in this world. There is something that I have to give, something that I have to contribute. You're a leader. When you decide to step into that place by the grace of God at any level of your life, it could, it could be in your home with your family. Affirmation is important. It's so important. We know that our worth is found in Christ. No human being can give or take away your personal worth or my personal worth. But God can use and does use human beings to affirm human beings. So I just want to encourage you not to take for granted the power of affirming another person, affirming what you see in them, affirming um, that that person is worthy to be heard, uh, to be loved, to be seen. Um, and sometimes affirmation is not words. Sometimes we can just have a way about ourselves that allows a person to know that, you know, you matter to me. Like, I see you. Um, that's affirmation too. That's providing emotional support and encouragement. But sometimes, oftentimes, affirmation is given uh, through words. One of my love languages is words of affirmation. That's one of mine. It's probably one of my higher ones. Um, so it means something to me when a person says to me what they see. Even for a person who has a different love language, um, just affirming a person, it matters, especially as a leader. If you're leading people, they need to know that you see them. It doesn't mean you have to go around passing out compliments and hugs and patting everybody on the back every week or every other day. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying be intentional about 
affirming others that are around you who um, your words or your actions could impact them in the way they see themselves. So again, I'm not putting the responsibility on any of us to um, make anyone feel like they're worthy to be alive. We all will need to be reminded throughout our lives. It, we all need to be affirmed in different spaces in our lives. So just remember that. Think about it. Pray about it. Ask God, like, you know, are there, who, who around me needs me to let them know, you know, I, I see you. You, you make a difference. I'm, I'm glad you're here. You matter. What you're doing makes a difference. It's important. And you know those people, there are some people who are just so good at that, and it just comes very naturally to them. Um, they're not, you know, trying to be your best buddy. And again, they're not trying to flatter you, but there are some people that are just so good at saying what they see and letting a person know that whatever that individual thing is about them, that is important, that it matters. Some people are better at that than others. I think I'm good at that, but at the same time, sometimes when it comes to the people who are around us, the people that we see the most, sometimes we can take those people for granted and not open our mouths and say, wow, you know, you're pretty awesome at so-and-so. Or, man, I see what you're trying to do. You know, keep keep it up. You know, I'm praying for you. Just providing that emotional support and encouragement and um, agreeing with, attesting to what you what you already see about that person. Who's someone who has impacted you? Think about it. When was a time where someone you respected affirmed you and it made a difference? So much so till you still remember it. You probably remember where it happened. You probably remember um, just how it changed you in that moment, how it impacts you even now. I know I have moments like that that I can speak of uh, throughout my life. One more uh, recent, really, in the past couple of years would be doing my master's program. And my professors, my academic advisor, and just some other parts of the community, people that I really respected, that I didn't think knew anything about me or would even want to care that much, just really saw things in me and they spoke it out, you know, and they said, you know, we we see this and such, you know, in you on different occasions. Things that I saw in myself, but I had not really said to anyone else before. Um, it mattered because it was at a phase in my life where I had some decisions to make about my next steps, whether I was going to pursue what I felt God was calling me to do or whether I was going to stay put. God just gave them eyes to see me and to say, you know what, I see this and such in you. And it was confirmation to me. They were affirming what I already knew about myself or calling out things that maybe I hadn't been able to put words to before. So that was very important to me. Um, I can also think of, think of times going up different times where I just felt affirmed by certain people. Sometimes they didn't say anything. It was just the way they treated me, the things that they trusted me with. I felt affirmed in those situations. So here we are years later. I can walk in certain places with confidence because someone agreed with me about what God had already shown me about me. So I feel like it's important for us to do that um, for each other. I feel like it's important for us to be intentional about just paying attention, paying attention to what's going on around us, paying attention to the people around us and just not being self-absorbed to the point where we don't see that, man, someone else might need encouragement. Um, someone else might need to know like, I see you, I see what you're doing and I'm praying for you. I want you to do well. It's so important to do that. Um, so I'm gonna end this video here Next week, maybe we'll get into validation a little bit more. Let me know in the comments below if you want to talk about that difference between affirmation and validation. Let me know if you want to talk about that next week. I would like to go live next week. I have something else on Wednesday evenings. Um, so 
my intention is to do some of these live, but maybe I will continue to upload the Worth Wednesday earlier in the day than I'm doing it tonight. Um, and then maybe the next day we can do a discussion on it live because you've had a chance to watch the video and kind of grapple with some of the things that I'm talking about. Maybe I can do it that way because for the next few months, I will be busy on Wednesday evenings during the time when um, I would like to do live. So yeah, maybe I'll do it that way. I'll figure it out. I do want to have some live discussions with y'all about the stuff that we're talking about too, because you know, I'm sharing things that have impacted me, things that I share with clients or things that um, I talk through with my community and we talk about our experiences and it's just been so rich. It's been so beneficial just to talk through things and share experiences. So leave me some comments in the comment section below. When were some times when maybe you were affirmed and it just really made a difference to you? Or even when were some times where you felt you needed affirmation? and you didn't get it, what did you do? How did you continue on when you didn't receive the affirmation that you felt you needed? And then also, you don't have to say the person's name, of course, but are there people, can you think of people who, you know what, this video, this message on this video was for me because I've been thinking about so-and-so, I've been praying for them, and I really just wanna let them know you know, I support you. I have your back. I'm praying for you. Um, I see what you're doing. I see what God is doing in your life. Um, who are some people who come to mind for you with that, that maybe you should be intentional about affirming? Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next week for Worth Wednesday. Meanwhile, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. I want to do more lives here on Facebook, Instagram, and I will probably do some YouTube lives. But for the most part, I post my videos on YouTube because it gives me a chance to um, film them when my schedule permits and to edit out different things like noises or me saying um a million times. I'm working on that. Uh, but I do want to talk with you guys live. I think it will be so cool just to dig into some of this stuff with y'all because I know y'all have some amazing and rich things to say that would encourage each other and encourage me as well. So I'm gonna work that out. We're gonna see how I get that done, but it's gonna happen. I'm gonna do it. But yeah, leave me some comments. Give this video a thumbs up if you're watching it on YouTube and if you're watching it on Facebook and share it with your friends. You're probably a leader and most likely your friends are leaders as well and you have and influence. Your influence matters. Your prayers matter. Your words, your support, it matters. So leave me some comments again. Share this video with your friends. I will see you, you, you. I will see you next week for Worth Wednesday.